The FBI showed up to my house and this is what happened. Yeah, we just want to talk to you and get some information um, from you, you know, and, uh, and in your involvement with the organization. I'm Paul Darwin Picklesheimer. You may remember me from the Smithfield trial where my co-defendant and I, Wayne Shung, were acquitted of theft and burglary charges stemming from our rescue of two sick, neglected piglets, Lily and Lizzie, from Smithfield's Circle 4 factory farm in Beaver County, Utah. Although a jury found us not guilty, that has not ended the government's harassment of me and other animal rights activists. While we only seek to expose abuse, to create a kinder world, in the government's eyes, we are a threat to corporate power and even labeled terrorists. Recently, Agents from the FBI's San Francisco field office showed up at my home. I'm Special Agent Justin Sable with the FBI. Uh, my partner Katie Burnett. They knocked on my door for the supposed purpose of helping them find quote unquote bad actors who might be trying to latch on to our movement. I just want to talk to you. We're hoping maybe you could help us out. Um, we know your involvement and we know like as with any organization, there's always there always is the potential of bad actors kind of clinging on to a cause that's a good cause. So we're hoping, I mean, we know we probably have the same goal. Like you wouldn't want that either. So we just want to talk to you about, yeah. you know, that and just to see if you know of any any kind of like trouble that you've seen or, you know, just maybe you could keep us in the loop if you hear of anything, okay. that kind of thing. But I know that police and the FBI can and will lie. And their stated reason for the visit was likely just a tactic to try to get me to talk. The FBI has a long history of hunting down and imprisoning activists like me who use our voice to defend animals. In the Smithfield case, they went as far as raiding two sanctuaries in an effort to locate the piglets who we had rescued. To get their search warrant, the FBI told a judge that violations of the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act had occurred. Apparently, the government thinks that rescuing animals equates to terrorism. When the FBI located two pigs at an animal sanctuary who they believed to be Lily and Lizzie, they were violently restrained and one of their ears had a large section cut off, apparently for genetic analysis, while horrified sanctuary volunteers were forced to watch. This same agency now wants my help? I don't think so. I politely but firmly told them that I would not be speaking with them. I didn't invite them inside and I let them know that I would be talking with my attorney. All right, well, I appreciate you making the trip out and yeah, I'll, I'll try to holler back at you after I talk to an attorney. Sounds okay. good. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Have a good day. Appreciate your time. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. your I also got their business card so I would know who had just came to my home. If you were ever visited by the police or the FBI, don't panic. Just do what I did. Let them know that you won't be speaking with them and then close the door. If they contact you on the phone, simply say, no, thank you and hang up. Then contact an attorney. If you need assistance, feel free to reach out to Direct Action Everywhere in case we can help locate an attorney for you to help protect you and your rights. You always have the right to remain silent, whether under arrest or not. I believe in an obligation to exercise our rights when possible to help animals secure theirs. Together, we can achieve animal liberation.